Heart disease in women is different. Coronary small vessel disease, CSVD, also known as microvascular angina or microvascular coronary disease, is a condition that affects the heart's tiniest arteries. Unlike traditional coronary artery disease, which involves blockages in the larger arteries of the heart, coronary small vessel disease, CSVD, involves dysfunction in the small vessels that supply blood to the heart muscle. Women are more likely to have cardiovascular disease without blockage of the large coronary arteries. Only 24 to 30 percent present with traditional large coronary artery blockage, which can lead to diagnostic confusion since we've come to expect the male model where large coronary artery blockage is commonplace. Coronary small vessel disease, CSVD, can lead to chest pain, also known as angina, shortness of breath, and other symptoms that resemble those of traditional coronary artery disease. Women are most often affected by this disease. Pathophysiology Coronary small vessel disease occurs when the small coronary arteries do not function properly. These arteries, which are less than 500 micrometers in diameter, can become constricted or spasm, leading to reduced blood flow to the heart muscle. This reduction in blood flow can result in ischemia, which is a lack of sufficient oxygen to the heart muscle. The dysfunction in these small vessels is often due to endothelial dysfunction, which is the inability of the blood vessel's inner lining to function normally. This can be caused by various factors, including high blood pressure, diabetes, smoking, and high cholesterol levels. Inflammation and increased oxidative stress are also believed to play significant roles in the development of CSVD. Symptoms The symptoms of CSVD can be similar to those of traditional coronary artery disease and may include chest pain or discomfort, also known as angina, that may occur during physical activity or emotional stress shortness of breath, fatigue, discomfort in other areas of the upper body, including the arms, neck, jaw, or stomach, nausea, and dizziness. It's important to note that CSVD can occur in individuals with or without significant blockages in the larger coronary arteries. This can make diagnosis challenging, as traditional tests for coronary artery disease may not detect small vessel dysfunction. Diagnosing CSVD can be challenging because the small vessels are not easily visualized with standard imaging techniques. However, several methods can help in diagnosing the condition. While coronary angiography is commonly used to visualize blockages in the larger coronary arteries, it may not detect abnormalities in the small vessels. However, it can be useful in ruling out significant blockages in the larger arteries. Coronary flow reserve or CFR, measurement measures the ability of the coronary arteries to dilate and increase blood flow when needed. Reduced CFR can indicate small vessel dysfunction. Intravascular ultrasound, or IVUS, and optical coherence tomography, or OCT, are imaging techniques that can provide detailed images of the coronary arteries inner walls, helping to identify abnormalities in the small vessels. Magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI, can assess the heart muscle's perfusion and identify areas with reduced blood flow. Positron emission tomography, or PT scans, can measure blood flow to the heart and detect areas with reduced perfusion. The treatment of CSVD aims to relieve symptoms, improve heart function, and reduce the risk of future cardiovascular events. Treatment options may include nitrates. These medications help to relax and widen the blood vessels, improving blood flow to the heart. Beta blockers. These drugs reduce the heart's workload and improve blood flow by slowing the heart rate. Calcium channel blockers. These medications help to relax and dilate the small blood vessels, improving blood flow. Statins. These drugs lower cholesterol levels and have anti-inflammatory effects that can improve endothelial function. ACE inhibitors or ARBs. These medications help to lower blood pressure and improve heart function. Controlling conditions that contribute to CSVD, such as high blood pressure, diabetes, and high cholesterol, is essential. Regular monitoring and medication adjustments may be necessary to keep these conditions in check. Coronary small vessel disease is a challenging condition that requires a comprehensive approach to diagnosis and treatment. By understanding the pathophysiology, recognizing the symptoms, and utilizing advanced diagnostic techniques, Healthcare providers can effectively manage CSVD and improve the quality of life for those affected by this condition. Adopting a heart-healthy lifestyle and managing underlying conditions are also crucial in preventing the progression of the disease. With proper care and attention, individuals with CSVD can lead healthy, fulfilling lives.
For more in-depth information about women's cardiovascular health and other important health topics, be sure to check out the Informed Woman magazine, your trusted source for evidence-based women's healthcare information.